as we're right around the corner to a new season but by the time you may be watching this the new season may be just started but look check this out today i'll be showing you a crazy office initiator build so look this build as most of the time you will see it, it will mostly be a pure yellow pie chart but today i'm going to be end up showing you guys two offense initiators these are basically playmaker builds or builds that can actually be offensive scores and facilitators at the same time but look as of today we're going to end up giving you a crazy fun build to use something different than you using a play shot or using a regular slasher build that you actually enjoy and if you're someone that likes to make tall builds this is definitely one of those builds that you want to, might want to try out if you're someone that likes playing on six six builds six seven builds six five builds this definitely could be the build for you. Even if you're someone that leans to playing with smaller builds, like a six foot, a six foot one, you still can make it this way, but make it a little bit better. As of before in 2K of NBA 2K22, we didn't see that many offensive threats. We didn't see that many two-way slashers that can dribble, dunk, and shoot. We didn't see that many three-point playmakers that could get contact dunks. And we didn't see that many two-way pass for point guards that can actually dribble, shoot, and play defense. But look, look. As of the games changing and the new metas coming here and there, and to bring in the season with another fun build to use, as we have 1, 17, 20, and 9, if you're someone that has three extra badge points in the comment section right now, let me know, where would you put these three extra badge points? Would you put two on finishing, one on defense, two on finishing, one on shooting? I'm going to end up messing around with this. I want to know in the comment section before I actually make this build fully, and I show y'all boys some crazy gameplay on it which badge points where y'all want it this is one of those builds like my two-way slasher you guys get to pick where the badges go so look as we end up making this build this build can be a point guard and shooting guard if you're someone that likes running guard picking a point guard you will get floor general if you're someone that doesn't care for having floor general and you would rather have rim protector make it a shooting guard but as of attributes there are both the same you're going to get the same badge count if you make it a point guard or shooting guard but if you haven't yet make sure you drop a like on this video it does help the video get recommended and the more times you like this video. Also subscribe if you haven't yet and put on those post notifications. As of the pie charts I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be showing you two pie charts and two different builds. As of the first one, we're going to be using the more yellow, less green, the better shooting pure playmaker pie chart on this build right here. As of this build being the taller dribbling guard, you're going to end up making this a speed pie chart. As you choosing the speed pie chart for this physical profile, this is going to make the build more playable if you're someone that's not looking to hit this build to 99. But as I start upgrading the playmaker on this build, you see I stop at 77 pass accuracy. It's a reason of me stopping at 77 pass accuracy for this build because if you go anything past 77, you will get a whole different name. The same way I told you guys, you can get slash and playmaker, two-way slasher playmaker you get playmaker it's so many different names you can get slasher even without having your slashing all the way up but with this build having at least 17 shooting badges as you can get 18 but most of you guys y'all might in the comment section y'all might drop it to 15 to try to get more defensive badges but what i showed you you get nine defensive badges off rip as of having nine defensive badges 20 playmaking 17 shooting if you had extra badge points the only place i would tell you to put it on is finishing with a little bit of shooting because 20 definitely can get the job done on the iso and non-defensive badges definitely can get you a stop especially having long arms to be in a taller build and having a higher speed on defense so look as we have 117 20 and 9 like i told you where would you put them extra badge points at since you have three if you had the chance of putting three extra badge points in any category you want where would you put it but as of the heights like i told you the best preferred height if you're going to go tall go 65 or 66 but if you're someone that likes using elite dribble moves, like you want to be able to use Derrick Rose, the Kimball Walkers, stuff like that, the 6'4 height is where you would go. Unless you want to go 6'3, that would be the lowest I would want to go on this type of build. But check it out. If you're someone that wants to mess with the metric system and you want to be somewhat close to 6'5, but you are actually 6'4 and get the dribble moves, you are going to end up making your build 1.95 meters. That's going to be the height in the metric system if you're someone that's going to make this build in metric system. You're going to use 1.95 if you want to be 6'4 and a half. But you can be able to be around the 6 foot 4 and a half height with also having elite dribble moves with this build off rip. So look, the one reason as you see the wingspan, you can make this wingspan max. The reason I'm saying you can make it max, you still get a 70 drive and dunk at 99. So you get park dunks, you get better dunk packages. But if you lower your wingspan one time, you get a higher three-pointer and you still get that 66 driving dunk. 
But if you lower it anything lower than that, it's going to give you a whole different name like shot creator, mid-range interior playmaker, things like that. So if you're going to end up making it, make it to 85.1. With you doing that, you get a 85 three-pointer at 99. You're going to end up having a 70 drive and dunk. You're going to also have a 90 ball control. And with this build having literally almost max wingspan, you're going to be able to have a higher steal on this build. But as of the takeovers, you get sharp, playmaking, shot creating, or lock. The main two I would choose would be sharp or shot creating. If you're someone that's looking to go with the playmaking takeover, I would tell you to pick shot creating over the playmaking takeover, hands down. But if you're going to pick the sharp, pick sharp. But as you get the name offense initiator, this is one of the two builds of the offensive initiator that I'll be showing you today. As there's mostly like five to six ways you can make this, but like I told you, you will have to struggle at shooting, struggling at dribbling with badges, and also you will have a low defensive rating if you're gonna do it that way. But as of the best pie chart in the game, one of the best catfish pie charts, the more blue, less green pie chart. You remember the last time I showed y'all with the two-way slasher? This pie chart right here is one of the best pie charts when it comes to making builds of what you want. If you want to make a great offensive build, this is the pie chart that you want to end up using. As I'm going to upgrade this, please pay attention right here because if you're using this pie chart to make this build an offense initiator or even a two-way tempo pusher, you got to pay attention to this key thing. As I upgrade my dunk max and I upgrade my close shot max, my layup will have to be a 85. If you do anything else, it's going to give you slash and playmaker, two-way slash and playmaker. It might end up giving you two-way tempo pusher here and there based on your height. So keep that in mind. But as of the shooting on this build, as you having 15 shooting badges or 16, which whatever one you like, whatever is your preference, this build can definitely get it done. As I showed you, with the slash and playmaker, with the two-way slasher, these are enough badges to shoot consistently on, especially if you're someone that's going to play the 1v1, the 2v2s, you're going to be ice on, or you're just someone that just want to play on a build that's different from using a play shot, a lockdown, all those type of builds. So look, as of having this 85 driving layup, like I told you earlier, we have to have the 77 pass accuracy for this to also give us the name offensive initiator or two-way tempo pusher. But look, as you got 13 badges for playmaking, if you're going to try to get seven defensive badges on this build, even if you lower your shooting on this build, you're not going to get more playmaking. But if you're someone that wants to end up taking the less defensive badges and getting the more balanced build, the thing you're going to get is 15, 15, 15, and 6. Just by you removing a little off of shooting and just adding it on to your playmaking and then throwing the rest on defense, as you can 15, 15, 15, and 6, I'm going to tell you this now. I know a lot of people with this badge count and they actually like using it. It's a very consistent badge count that you can use. You got gold shooting, you got gold playmaking, you got Hall of Fame finishing. Hall of Fame finishing, you don't need that many badges to really make this build really crazy on, on finishing. But with the hype with this pie chart, I'm going to tell y'all this now. As I've seen a lot of people use this build at 6'7". If you're someone that does not care about having elite dribble moves, 85 ball control, you can make this build 6'7 if you want to. You can make it 6'6", six, six, you can make it 6'5", but most of the time I see it and what I have, I will prefer still the 6'3 is one of the best ones to use, to be honest. The 6'3 with one from max wingspan is the best one to use, but if you're someone going max wingspan, you're going to two-way tempo pusher. You go office initiator, you go one or two down from max wingspan. But as of the badge count, you don't get sharp takeover on this build. That's one thing. You get slash and take now, but you don't get sharp take. But some of you guys can remember when I told you, this pie chart is one of the best pie charts to use to make catfish builds. The same thing with the more green, less blue. Pie charts like that are some of the best pie charts to use to make these catfish builds and actually make good builds that's offensively or even defensively good at having an ability to still score consistently. But as with this having a 117, 20, and 9 badge count, this is what I would use. Limitless takeoff, that would be the only badge you would have unless you have extra badge points. I will put it on gold since I have extra badge points. But look, as of shooting, it's based on what you're playing. If you're playing twos or you're playing ones, I would throw that lucky seven zone. If you're someone that's playing ones, lucky sevens on silver and rhythm shooter on silver. A lot of people sleep on this rhythm shooter. I might have to drop a video for y'all boys to actually show y'all what this rhythm shooter actually does on NBA 2K22. And it doesn't hurt to put blinders on silver or gold based on how you play. If you're just gonna rim run, hey, it's really no point for you using. But if you're someone that likes to fade and likes to shoot off the dribble, you can also throw in difficult shots and blinders because that end up knocking out for the fades in the corner or fading on the mid range for the three point line. 
But as of the playmaking, this is where, with these 20 badges, you can make something happen. As of having handles for days on Hall of Fame, quick first step, quick chain, those are the badges that you're going to have on Hall of Fame. Unpluckable on gold is, that's the, I do not want you to put unpluckable on Hall of Fame. You can, but it's not worth it. It's literally not worth it putting on Hall of Fame. But as of defensive badges, this is all you. Most of you guys, you put clamps on. Some of y'all don't use Hustler, but Hustler definitely works on bronze if you want to use it. And Chase Down Artist. But if you want to see me use this build at like 90 overall or 92 overall before it gets to 99 with badges, let me know in the comment section. If been your man, Shamama, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, put on those notifications. I'll see y'all boys in the next one, and I'm out, y'all.